Good morning, everyone. Daphne Walbridge from the first year principal here. I am here to help new principals or first year principals not only survive, but thrive as new educational leaders. And I do this through conscious leadership, through creativity and through connection. So today we are starting another five part series. And this week we're going to be focusing on wellness. So how to make sure that principals have a wellness routine or are investing in their, what I call a wellness bank account, because being a principal is akin to running a marathon, a professional marathon. So if you're just joining me for the first time, welcome. Please let me know where you're signing in from. I'd love to, to get to know you. If you're catching the replay, make sure to type in hashtag replay. So let's get started. Today I want to present three strategies you can use that will help you set professional boundaries. So this is what we're talking about today. Our first topic is, you know, how do you set professional boundaries without fearing the loss of connection with your staff or with other people? So basically what we're going to be focusing on are three simple strategies. Uh, the first one being uh, controlling our notifications. Now, what I'm presenting today might be something you've already experienced or know of, but what is common uh, sense is often not common practice. Okay. So if you're hearing me loud and clear, just give me a thumbs up and uh, let me know if this resonates with you. So the first strategy is obviously making sure our notifications are controlled. So by notifications, I mean uh, work emails, Gmail accounts, Facebook, Instagram, all those little bells and whistles that pop up on our phone every 15 minutes that distract us. Now, the big one here is the professional email. And a lot of new principals will think of, oh my goodness, how can I not have my professional email pop up every 15 minutes? I need to know what's going on. I need to be able to respond right away. So this is the fear that many new principals have because they want to, um, they want to show themselves in the best light and you know, they want to perform well. But remember, it's a marathon. So I remember when I first removed the notifications, I was nervous because I felt, you know, maybe I'm gonna miss out on something or maybe, you know, there's important information that I'll need to address right away. And then I thought to myself, if it's very important, someone will call because if it's that urgent, a phone call will be necessary. So I said, I'm going to give myself a couple of weeks and I'm going to see if that works. And if it works, then I'm going to just keep going with it. But of course it was a little bit uncomfortable at first and you need to navigate those uncomfortable feelings. And uh, I'm just doing a lot of big thanks. So um, anyway, so after that, uh, I did the next, uh, my husband, after that I did a next, um, next, I tried something else and uh, I decided to monitor my internet use or my email use in the morning and in the evening. So I set limits and boundaries over that as well regarding those two time slots. So in the morning I made sure to not check emails when I was starting off my day. Okay, so when you're starting your day off, the first thing you wanna do is make sure your headspace is nice and clear because if it's not, then you're checking your emails and already you're gonna be starting to get your day uh, settled in and, and, and fixing problems and, and then you won't have that clear headspace. So this might be difficult as well, but one thing you can do is set a boundary for yourself and only check it maybe 10 minutes before going into work that way you're able to see what's in your inbox and then head to work knowing what you need to address. You'll have to work out what works out, what's best for you. The next um, suggestion I have regarding email boundaries would be in the evening. So when you leave school, you're going to want to make sure to, um, you know, have that downtime where you're not checking emails. Again, being a new principal, this could be hard because you know, you need to know what's happening. You want to make sure you have all those, you know, questions answered, but that can wait. Those are other people's priorities and you're going to want to make sure you, you set that to the side for now because you have a family. 
So again, I used to have a rule where I try not to check emails between uh, 5 and 7.30, 8 o'clock. And sometimes I would check it at the end of the evening for 10 minutes just to make sure my inbox was clean, but often I didn't because I wanted to go to bed with a clear, a clear mind. Okay, but that again takes getting used to. So these are boundaries you have to set for yourself. Lastly, the third type of boundary you can set for yourself is to um, let people know when you're at work, when you have your block off times to, to work. So you might have to shut the door and focus on the work that needs to be addressed. You'll have reports to do, schedules to manage, all kinds of things will pop up and you actually need time to focus. So an open door policy is fabulous, but sometimes you do have to um, make sure that the, the door is shut so you can focus on that and let your staff know, be transparent about it. Because if they don't know, then that can create some, some, some tension because they're thinking, well, why is her door shut and why is she not accessible? So be transparent from the beginning. Remember, this is a marathon. So you need to implement these micro boundaries and from day one. The other thing about text, some, some principals don't want to receive texts from their staff or um, the, you know they, they won't want to receive phone calls or things like that. You need to figure out from day one what you're willing to accept and what you don't want to accept. I would recommend writing it out on paper before the school year starts, maybe consulting your family. And then um, I would you know try it on for size for a few days and see, okay, is this re you know reasonable? Uh, for example, no text after 8 p.m. or if you do, I'll be on airplane mode, I'll have to respond the next day. So you'll have to figure out what works for you. You have to do you and then try it out. And then once you've figured out the perfect formula for you, share it with your staff. Be, be very open and direct with them because they you're training them to respond to you. Okay? Very important. And they're going to respect you for it. So those are the three keys. Make sure you control your notifications. You do a, a test trial for fun. Um, have boundaries for emails at home in the morning and at night and make sure during the work time they know when you need to block off some time to do focused work, okay? You're always accessible for emergencies, but they're, you're not gonna, you know, they're not gonna miss you if you shut the door for an hour to focus on work, okay? So let me know how this is landing with you, if this makes sense. And um, that's the lesson for today on wellness. So this is how we're putting currency in our wellness bank account, okay? A little bit every day goes a long way. If you wanna learn more about setting boundaries, I have two videos uh, on this topic in the First Year Principal Toolkit. One is called uh, Setting Healthy Boundaries, I believe, and the other one is Setting Boundaries Without Burning Bridges. So I recommend you try that. You go and explore those videos and you let me know what you think of them, okay? If this resonated with you, just let me know what you think and give me a thumbs up or connect with me by messaging me, whatever. I'd love to hear from you, okay? Have a great day and take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.